Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I'm back with actually some new products and um, so I thought I'd go ahead and get started and we can go over all the new stuff. And so I have the Super Goop Glow Oil on with SPF 50 for my base. And then I did put on the Super Stay C Plus by Maybelline. I have shade 102 in there. Um, as far as what I did for bronzer, this is where we get into the new products. I picked up two of the NYX. I got a buttercup and all buttered up. <laughs> so um, both of these seem to be not exactly what I was thinking that they were going to be. I thought that they were going to be more along the red lines and these lighter shades and this is the lightest shade and I'm doing swatches right now this is the second to the lightest shade and they're both beautiful shades but they weren't quite the red that I was looking for so I'm going to pick up another one as well as far as the way that they look yeah that's the way that they swatched and so um, this one's going to be the lighter one over here and then the darker one over here. So um, again, really pretty. I like the way that it um, has a little bit of glow, but not a lot. And so like I said, I picked up the two lightest shades. And right now I have the very lightest shade on as my bronzer right now. But I really like the formula. I like the glow. I like that it has a little bit of shimmer, but it isn't like shimmer all over everywhere. So really enjoying these two. And like I said, I'm picking another one up. So uh, let's see. The Bare Minerals, and this is the Blonzer. And I went ahead and used a Kiss of Copper as well. And then as far as going ahead and doing the highlighter, um, I did go ahead and use the Trefoils by Hard Candy. It's uh, one of the collabs that they did with the Girl Scouts of America. And so that's what I have on as far as my highlighter right now. I do have the Essence Thick and Wow on um, for the brows. And then the Maybelline Falsies on to go ahead and as far as mascara. I didn't actually put on anything as far as an eyeliner and so I was hmm, yeah I didn't do that hmm. but I did go ahead and put on the peachy shade and a little bit of the um, where did the other one go so this is peachy by AOA and it's a uh, you can get this on the Miss A website But it's Buttery Blur is the name of the line. And AOA is actually uh, the major in-house brand for Miss A. And um, AOA is also the brand that was the first dollar makeup. And so, yeah, they do all sorts of good stuff. I didn't have another... Oh, here it is. Okay, so I have both of these on. This is the Plumping Gloss by Heart Candy. And so I had that on, and also the AOA, the Buttery Blur. So that's how that came out there. And then what I got that's brand new um, is the Wildwood Palette. And so this is by Alter Ego. They do dupes of, um, let's see, the Natasha Denona palettes. This one is a dupe of the Yucca Palette, which came out last summer. And I actually didn't pick up that palette. Um, but I'm really glad that Alter Ego came out with one. And so um, it's what I have on my eyes today. And what I did was I went ahead and put this in the crease, this one in the outer corner. Then I put this shimmer on the outer corner as well. And I put this shimmer on the inner corner and like I said I didn't do any eyeliner or anything this way that the look turned out and I really do love uh, this color story you can find this color story in a couple of other places but it's more difficult to find um, it has a lot of yellows and terracottas in it um, and some uh, greens and yellows and it's really really pretty um, but it's just one that you don't see all the time everywhere so let me go ahead and get you a couple of swatches on this and I'll 
be right back. Okay, so back again with Alter Ego Wildwood Palette. And Alter Ego uh, does palettes that are based on other palettes. And this one is based on the Natasha Denona uh, Yucca palette that came out last summer. And the whole uh, color story behind it is going to be a whole bunch of terracottas, yellows, greens, and some browns in there. Really pretty as far as my swatches go. So these are the swatches here. And um, again, a lot of yellow and a lot of terracotta, some orange, some green, and really a very Mother Earth kind of palette. I mean, if you're talking about especially uh, the Western United States, this whole palette, and yuccas are found in the deserts all the time. Um, I actually have, let me see if I can get my camera over here to show you. Yeah, that one that I have right there, um, that's going to be... Uh, a loa vera plant, which is actually pretty close to a yucca plant. They're not exactly the same. The loa vera, again, you open up the leaf and you use the loa vera, which is vitamin E gel, vitamin e gel to help things heal. And so that's a desert plant as well. And they just, they hang on to all their water. They never let it go. So, um, yeah. That's kind of what a yucca plant looks like. And again, the colors in these um, palettes all are going to be based on basically the Western United States because once you get you know into the West, past Rocky Mountains, it all becomes desert anyway. So um, yeah, this is a beautiful palette as always. Uh, Alter Ego does an amazing formula with amazing colors. Um, I've I never find anything too off with Alter Ego palettes. And um, the fact that so many other companies went, you know, disappeared during the COVID and this company is still here um, is, yeah, it says a lot. And so I would highly recommend going ahead and picking up anything by Alter Ego. Ego. Um, you can go ahead and order off their website. They aren't actually in stores. So again, it's the Alter Ego Cosmetics to go ahead and order. And um, I am really thinking that this is a fun palette and I will definitely be doing another video showing you um, a couple of dupes for this palette. I did find a couple, but there weren't very many. So I would definitely say that this is probably the very best dupe of that Natasha Denona palette. Um, but like I said, I'll be going through my collection to find uh, some of the ones I found before and see if there's anything else that kind of fits the bell for this too. And um, again, just to go over the butter bronzers, um, really, really liking the formula. I expected them to be a little bit more red or pink based, but I think uh, moving into the next color up, I'll find that. Um, but like I said, I'm really happy with the colors that I have. And I'm picking up another one because I like the formula. And I want to have something that has a red base as well as um, this one tends to be peach. And I think this one is going a little bit more. Let me do another swatch real quick here. Yeah, the lighter one is definitely going toward a peach. And then the second lightest shade is... Hmm, I would say it's definitely going to be a brown. So, yeah, I don't know how well these are swatching. I have a feeling they're not swatching that well. Um, but you can definitely tell that, uh, yeah, that this one's a little bit lighter and this one's a little bit darker. And this one, the darker one, has a little bit more red in it. And I think some of the other ones have purple, pink, and red in them. So, like I said, I really like the formula and I'm picking up more because I like it a lot. So, um, that's all that I got going for the moment. And I hope that you have a great day and I'll see you later. Bye.